We have with us Dr. Idayat Badamosi, an associate professor at the University of Ibadan, who says there are possible herbal ways of preventing the coronavirus. Welcome with us, Dr. Idayat Badamosi. Good morning, madam. Are you there? Good morning. How are you? Good, good. Morning, good. We are fine, doctor. thank you. We are hoping to hear some good news from you because YK has been talking about it almost from day one, that it's got to be herbal remedies, it's got to be Nigerian's African solution to preventing the, the, virus, the spread of this virus and possibly in, in, in future cases maybe the cure. The level of immunity, that is the innate immunity, has a significant role to play in COVID-19 infection, as well as the level of immune defense system. In my own view, the use of herbs to boost immunity we help in preventing coronavirus and mitigating its spread in Nigeria. Herbs that could be useful are based on the symptoms of coronavirus infection. Being a viral infection, antiviral plant will be very, very useful in the containment of the infection. Can you give us an example of antiviral plants, please? Some of the antiviral plants are Philanthus amaros, that is locally known as Enyolobe. As what? As Enyolobe. Mm, okay. Yoruba. Aside that, we have the fruit of melon. It could be useful to, we call it locally bara. And the commonly known tagiri, the colosin species, it is equally useful in the treatment of coronavirus infection. Hmm. One species that has good antiviral activity is clove. Hmm. Clove. We call it locally kanafuru. Definitely plants are around us for use. And the key to their use resides in their signature, in their form and shape, texture, or color. If you look at the structure of coronavirus, the common round-shaped virus, it is similar in structure to some of the mentioned plants. Mm. Now, People will be listening, are listening to us now and thinking, okay, I know this one, I know this one. They want to go and pluck these leaves and start boiling or something. I have not said that. Okay. I am just trying to identify the plants that could be useful. Very good. And to portray the richness of our rainforest vegetation mm. in the procurement of medicinal plants for treatment of this particular coronavirus. Fantastic. Can you give us which of our everyday food that we already eat, that by increasing the quantity, quantity of those foods, we would improve our immune system? And which of the things do you think we consume now that is detrimental to our health, that we should reduce the quantity? She has said it's now, not an alcohol. to boost our immunity, we should concentrate on the consumption of fruits and vegetables, okay. cereals and spices. As a professor, an associate professor in the University of Ibadan, and just the University of Ibadan, one of our premier um, um, universities in this country, what are you doing as a body to support the government in providing these remedies that could be actually um, put into maybe tablets or some to make consumable for Nigerians to use at some point? Because all hands are on deck to find different things to help Nigerians to build their immune system um, to prevent this virus. I want to tell you that the entire university community of the Premier University is involved with the Oyo State Government. And we are a member of the Coronavirus Task, uh, Task Committee. Right. Those in chemistry are working on synthetic compounds. Those in pharmacy solution. Those mm -hmm. of us in botany and agric science, right. we are working on plants. Oh, fantastic. Trying as much as possible to carry out studies on their bioactivity with the hope that the hemp products will benefit the entire nation in the containment of COVID-19 infection. Mm -hmm.